someone in the comments was going off about how how dare I say that zebras are painted that way. So naturally, I'm going to do a video on zebras today. This is a hard one because it's something that's really ingrained into the the world. You know, people are born and Z is for zebra, Z is for zebra gets told to you like a million times before you're old and that's how a lot of their brainwashing goes. Same thing with the outer space. Why is outer space and dinosaurs and zebras these days sloths? You got to ask yourself, why are sloths so heavily part of children stuff? Same with koalas are heavily pushed on children for a reason. It's easier to to deceive people from a young age and just they they never grow out of the lie. They've just been told Z is for zebra a million times and they're gaslit by the world. Even though I remember n noticing the faded stripes growing up and thinking it was odd, but it's like nobody's out there saying, hey, zebras are really painted that way, except for as a joke, as they do. Because it is a big joke. All the time you'll hear jokes about zebras being painted that way in the media. And so it's just a good example of one of those Santa Claus things that people don't grow out of. And it shows you the matrix. It shows you how these people get off on this power trip of getting people to believe in fake things. And zebras are, I mean, it's a real creature, but they're horses or asses that are painted that way. It's a really old tradition. If you read the Wikipedia article on the list of animals in the Bible and you go to ass, it'll tell you. I'll show that later. I have a lot of slides, so I just want to fly through the slides today. I was looking for some, what's going on with zebra these days? Some zebras are being born without stripes. What's going on? So this, I was actually looking for, I think this is something that they've memory hold, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they used to say that zebras were not born with stripes and that they would come later. But now that they have CGI masking technology, but they don't even need that. It, this goes back to Wizard of Oz, okay? In Wizard of, Wizard of Oz, they take the horses and they paint painted them with te Technicolor. So you literally can take artists and paint frame by frame if you really wanted to. That's something that people people think that you need, like high-tech computer stuff to deceive people but actually like hand painted work if if somebody actually is going into a film negative and hand painting every single slide that's going to look better than cgi bad cgi so just an interesting topic of zebras is zebra birth videos because i think that zebra birth videos are a clear example of cgi masking where they're just taking a striped pattern and masking it. It's like a layer in Photoshop over over the creature. But anyways, this out of 2021 is kind of interesting, that they're switching up the stripe designs on the zebras. They're blaming it on inbreeding. The mare has a gorgeous pattern on her back, very strange pattern, and it looks like it used to have a different pattern. This is the kind of gaslighting where I remember seeing these faded stripes, and it's like nobody will address it. One of their tactics is to just be silent on a topic, and uh, you see a lot of people apply that in real life. People will get called out for stuff, and they'll just pretend like they didn't hear it. There's a funny thing in Arrested Development about uh, denial and how people will just pretend like they can't even hear something that you just said to them. That, that's how it is with these stripes. It's like people won't admit that the stripes are faded. Can you not see the faded stripes there? The tail looks busted. I mean, this just looks clearly like a, a human painted design to me and not natural. There's other tail tails on the zebras. Like the mane, I'm pretty sure is chopped to be spiky like that. I've had horse people in the comments before tell me that that's what happens if you chop a, a horse's mane it gets all spiky like that you see a lot of inconsistencies in the zebras and they'll just call it they'll call it a different species of zebra if they like paint the stripes differently because it seems like there wasn't a lot of agreement on what to do with the belly some of them they leave the belly clean some of them the belly looks really messed up and just so obviously painted that way okay zebras may begin to make over there's a new study. 
seven, 14, 140 planes across uh, plane zebras, a 14, that's a double seven. And then they talk about seven later. So that's three sevens right in a row. Wow. Uh, spots, they're, they're getting some spot patterns mixed in. Some have these odd, uh, mottled, weird looking stripes, a lot of black on their body and their legs and face are almost all white with just the tiniest strips of black. So they look very strange. They're blaming this on inbreeding. I thought it was interesting there how they're blaming it on in inbreeding and they talked about blue eyes and how that's recessive. I wonder if they're trying to say that's from inbreeding. Blue-eyed people are all inbred. I don't know if they're trying to say that or not. Okay, so lower genetic diversity by inbreeding. They ex they're they expressing recessive traits. I don't know. I think that they're just getting bored and they're painting them differently. Small population sizes and nature reserves. In in your mind, at least in my mind, we think of zebras just like roaming free, but they're actually all on preserves. And there's a really, really telling slide coming up. So if you're a skeptic of me, stick around for the slide coming up that shows that this can be a controlled operation. There aren't just like huge wild herds of zebras roaming the wild like we think or we see in nature documentaries they're actually all on preserves and they're gated in so they're talking about stripes i'm going to skip through these so fast but another thing that they've been talking about because they're always like what are the stripes there's so much mystery and intrigue about the stripes why are they there and I think that's kind of pointed, that they're always talking about the mystery of the stripes, the type of language that they use when they talk about the stripes, like perplexing people and puzzling. And their diction is really important with these people. And they pick words on purpose. So I guess there's been research into the stripes stopping flies, I guess. I don't know. And I think... I mean, I'll show it later, this thing about the Bible. I just think that this is a, a tradition that has gone back for a long, long time. And the elites have kept it alive. And they, they get off on being able to, to control reality like that. To be able to make almost the entire earth believe in something that is just a blatant lie. That is how they get off. So this was really telling. This is like the slide from this this video that i think is new interesting information at least to me plain zebras are very widespread but they're often in very tiny little reserves that are fenced and they don't go out oh that's interesting that sounds very controlled and i've had people comment about oh there's this rich guy near me that has like one zebra but you don't, can't get close to it it's like kept far away in california there's hearst castle what's up with why do only rich people get zebras they that's that's strange and they the whole lie about oh we can't domesticate them and so it is possible that usually the the breeds that they use because i think that they do use specific breeds generally to make the to paint them up and it is possible that those particular breeds have a a worse temperament but they actually a lot of times paint up just any old horse to look like a zebra and it can pass. It's funny that it's like, we'll get to that in a second. Being a zebra is whether you pass or not. It's whether your stripes are painted well enough or not. That's what makes something a zebra versus something that's a painted donkey. It's how good are your stripes? What's the difference between a zebra and the thing in Tijuana? Well, it's just the skill of the person painting the creature and the breed of the creature. These are elite, uh, you know, allegedly bred. You know how breeders... They have certain standards and they uh, only rich people really have access to the more elite breeds. I just think it's similar with that with the horses. They have uh, certain types, but it does seem like they'll paint up basically any old horse or ass to, to be a zebra. And it's more about how well it's done. And I, I think that it's just an old tradition. Anyways, it's very widespread, but they're in very tiny very tiny little they're often in very tiny little reserves that are fenced and they don't go out i think that is so telling 
Zoo accused of trying to pass off painted zo donkey as zebra. Oh, here's the Rothschilds with their obviously domesticated zebra. And there's Victorian images of people riding on the painted horses. This isn't the first time a zoo has tried to pull the wool over visitors' eyes. China, in 2013, angered guests by trying to pass off a hairy dog as a lion. The lion barked. The images got a little scrambled, so you'll have to remember back to that first article I was talking about where they, they have, like, spots now in the stripey pattern. You can see the faded stripe there. Or do they just decide to stop painting it? It looks like there used to be a stripe, though. Fruit Stripe is an artificially and naturally flavored fruit chewing gum with a strong yet fleeting flavor. It proudly claims to be the only gum with painted on stripes. Here's the, the zoo that was accused of painting a, do zonky, <laughs> painting a donkey to look like a zebra. It gives new meaning to uh, the phrase a wolf in sheep's clothing, a donkey in zebra stripes. Here's just some images of my website that I think make it really clear that these are stripes painted onto an animal. This looks like a white horse with some black spots on it, and they've painted it up with stripes. That, or the paint is smudging. This one I think is obvious. How can, how can people not tell that that's like painted on? That's not a natural stripe configuration. Making that like skeleton. It looks like a, like a human rib cage design put on there. But I thought these stripes were really obvious. Painted. This is an excerpt from the Wikipedia article on list of animals in the Bible. The, the ass, I'll just read the whole thing, it's worth it. The ass has always enjoyed a marked favor above all other beasts of burden in the Bible. This is evidenced by more than 130 mentions of this animal in the Bible and by the number of words in the Hebrew vocabulary used to de designate the ass by color, sex, age, and so forth, in striking contrast with the ordinary uh, penury of the sacred language. Of these various names, the most common, amor, reddish, the hair of the eastern ass being generally of that color. White asses, so this is really telling with the white White asses, more rare, were also more appreciated and reserved for the use of the nobles. I guess this is referenced in Judge, Judges chapter 5, verse 10. The custom was introduced very early, as it seems, and still prevails, to paint the most shapely and valuable donkeys in stripes of different colors. This is from the Wikipedia article of list of animals in the Bible. So maybe in a future video it'd be worth, where's, where'd they get the reference for this? But I think it's so telling that they say that, that this has been a custom for a long time to paint stripes of different colors. Nowadays they stick to the black white. Well, they love the black white. Imagine the painted horses in times past where they used more fun colors and people didn't think that it was like a, a real animal, but they knew that horse painting was a thing. Anyways, uh, <laughs> The still prevails thing. I think that's why I made it red. It's really telling. When have you ever seen a horse painted up with colored stripes? Uh, I think of Wizard of Oz. They don't even do the stripes. They just make them a solid color. Where are they getting this information that it still prevails today? And as it seems, still prevails today. I just think that is like some very telling language in the Wikipedia article that hints to whoever wrote this article knows that zebras are still painted that way. This was from a kind of disturbing video on zebra births. So the video was pretty disturbing. I'm not going to show the video, but I thought it showed some clear CGI masking. That's what I think you get out there when you look up zebra births. I think that you're getting produced footage. I don't think that they let any average person watch a zebra birth. Go back to the thing where it talks about how the zebras, they claim they're widespread, but that's because the Baffo Club is widespread, so rich people anywhere can get a zebra if they're rich enough and have connections. And uh, But they're on, they're fenced in, in enclosures, and so if they're, if they're pregnant, they know to keep an eye on them, and they're not going to just let anybody watch the birth. I think... I think I started saying this earlier in the video and got sidetracked. 
I believe that they used to say that they came out without stripes, but it's really hard to find information on that. But it would be interesting to look at really old sources on zebras and whether or not they said they came out with stripes or not. Because uh, part of me thinks that they used to say that they didn't come out with stripes, but now that they have the, the technology to fool people more easily with CGI masking, they tell people that they come out with stripes. Anyways, this is an interesting image. Missing the stripes. This was an interesting story. Horse gives birth to zebra. Okay, but these were images from a kind of disturbing video. I think that they were just coming in and making it appear to be striped, but I'll show you some images that show it, it was not stripey. And that looks weird. Like, why is the black so black right there? I think it's because they were digitally coming in and adding stripes at certain points. Because at other points in the video, it just looks like this. It just looked all one color with no evidence of stripes whatsoever. Man, these images really got scrambled. I apologize. This was a, a video from the 80s. Shortly after the birth, visitors, so they admit that, that the visitors didn't get to witness the birth. This video didn't have any footage of the actual birth. They, It was weird. They had them like hanging the, the zebra upside down, the painted horse. They had them hanging it upside down and wiping them off on a towel, but there wasn't any like afterbirth or bloody mess, so it's probably the bath they give them right after doing whatever paint. This is probably some really cool pigment, pigmented paint that is a trade secret, and that's kind of an interesting thing. What, what would be the paint that would dye a horse and in a semi-permanent kind of way? But we see it's not totally permanent. There's all sorts of stripes out there that wash off. I think it has to be... I think that they probably have to touch it up every every once in a while. Who knows? But they're very expensive. That's why they're somewhat rare. Because these things are expensive to maintain. Horses in general are expensive. So, But this is another reason why no poor people out there can own a zebra. You must be rich to have a zebra. They keep them mostly far away from people so you can't look up close. And they they tell you that you can't ride them, even though we see pictures of people riding them. Anyway, look at this dude. <laughs> uh, something about their milk being poisonous was in this in this video on zebras. Okay, but back to this. Look, there were plenty of shots in this video where it's like, uh, I don't know, that doesn't that doesn't look at all like it has any stripes. <laughs> but then over here. And that, that, there appear to be some anomalies around that head region. Looks awkward. But look at the black on the very black black. That doesn't look right. So I think that this was just an early example of CGI to give stripes to something that didn't have stripes. There was even a moment... Where, let me go through and find it. There was, oh, see, look at how much they pop out in this scene. So it was like in the video, there were certain frames where the they went for it and they painted in the stripes. I don't know exactly when this video was out, but that's another thing. Try to find old videos of zebras being born. There should be videos from the 50s of zebras being born. There should be There should be videos from all eras of zebras being born, but you don't really see them. At least I had a very hard time finding old videos of zebras being born. So I think this is a case of coming in and messing with some footage to put stripes where no stripes existed. This was a weird part in the video where the horse just like disappeared. The horse was like supposed to be right here, but it literally just vaporized. <laughs> some, some dodginess going on there. You know, the, it's potato quality, but what are you going to do? That is it for this video. I think that is clearly painted. And hope you enjoyed this video. God bless everyone.